Good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are doing very, very well. I'm so happy that you're here to join us this evening. As always, we'll give just a couple more minutes to let everybody kind of get logged in. I hope you all had an amazing day. I'm actually kind of excited. Well, I, I probably shouldn't say it. I'll probably jinx everyone, but I'm really excited that that rainy, snowy, whatever mix that they had talked about didn't happen. I don't think it's happening right now. It's a little dark outside. I can't quite tell, but <laughs> I would be okay if it didn't. I would be just fine with that. We did get a new snowblower here at Repus Teed. We had one opportunity to use it, and our tech queen was too scared to use it well. with other people watching. So we haven't actually gotten to blow the dust off the new snowblower yet. I mean, that is factual. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we'll see if we're able to. I don't know. But we will go ahead and get started this evening. Retwisty, we're going to do um, kind of a uh, Thursday night shop. Um, and if you were here last week, we talked about how we are reimagining resolutions. New Year's resolutions, they are real, they're a thing. We're kind of reimagining what that looks like for people. So kind of trying to, you know, go with our, our whole plan as Retwisty um, and helping everyone find what makes them happy. Um, if, if it's something that you haven't done before, we're going to try to help you find what that is, bringing back things that you have done before and maybe they've just kind of gone by the wayside. You just lost track of that. We're going to bring those back. So we're reimagining resolutions. Tonight's topic is snail mail. And I, Tanya and I are talking about it. I'm pretty sure Blue's Clues says snail mail and we've definitely aged ourselves here. But <laughs> if you guys know what it's, I think they say snail mail. So. <laughs> If you guys know what we're talking like, about, is this is it blue clues? Yeah, blue clues. Let us know if that's for real. So we're gonna talk about snail mail tonight. So snail mail and other things. So kind of our first topic is writing letters. So like writing snail mail. And here's some tidbits of information for you. So writing snail mail, it not only makes you happy, it also makes the recipient happy. Who doesn't get super excited when they receive mail? Retwisty loves to receive mail. If you guys want to send us mail, we will be so excited. We've had people send us letters, recipes we've gotten in the mail. Absolutely, send us some mail. We would love it. <laughs> so, handwriting, so like writing that snail mail, actually handwriting stimulates creativity and encourages you to explore your artsy side. So you could add like, you know, stickers, add doodles to it. So get creative with it. Add your own little touches of flair and art. Handwriting also creates calmness, relaxes your anxieties, and encourages clarity and peace. So start writing those letters. Send us some mail. We're going to talk about some pieces that you could write some snail mail on that we have here at the store. So the first things we're going to kind of look at here are our greeting cards. Now we have some handmade greeting cards all different themes we have thinking of you we have blank inside with um the fine art prints we have the get well cards masks masks are still kind of going around they're still a thing around here we have cards to send to your friends just because all of our little handmade cards here do go for three dollars each now we also have some Vintique postcards. I just love vintage postcards. I don't even know why. They're just very cool to me. We have all kinds of different looks like, my goodness, what is that anyway? Let's see, that is, oh, oh, well look at that. That's the Prairie du Sac Hydraulic Dam. Does it give a year? I don't think it gives a year on there, but yeah, very cool. So we have a lot of little vintage postcards to choose from, some vintage cards to choose from to send to people super super cute and those are also three dollars each now we also have valentine cards we have some handmade valentine's cards we also have some vintage valentine cards they are varying in their price ranges and they're kind of spread out all over we do have this little section here where we have a few different ones to choose from they're just so so cute all these different kind of styles and you can send one to your mom for Valentine's Day. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, I love these. You guys have to come in and check these out. They are varying in prices, kind of a little price range. 
You can choose from really tiny. We have little teeny tiny ones. We have bigger ones. Come on in and check those out. Um, so another thing that I want to talk to you guys about is blogging. So blogging is something that I want you to think about getting into. So reach with Steve blogs. Tanya is our blogger. She is an amazing writer. I want you guys to go out to our website, check out her blogs. They're incredible. And if you want to get a little insight into the background and kind of the, the growing up of Retwisty, head on out to our website and check out our blog. Now there are some little tidbits about blogging that I want to talk to you guys about. Blogging increases your knowledge and it creates a positive distraction that brings feelings of nostalgia and can make you belly laugh over and over again. If you want to know what belly laughing is, check out Tanya's blogs. Okay? <laughs> Now, writing your own blog is a really good thing to get into. You can start writing your own blog in any kind of format that you like. Writing a blog promotes creativity, it boosts your confidence, and it helps you connect with other people. So if technology isn't really your thing, you don't really want to get out there and write blogs out there for all of the public to see, do a blog on your own in a journal. So we have all these different styles of journals for you to choose from. From Scrap Cat, our artisan, we have these vintage The Reader's Digest books that she has turned into super cute journals. This one has this cute little envelope with all these little notions inside that you can create pieces with. You can write little notes on there, hang them around your house in your happy space, send them to your bestie. They work great in snail mail. Now her Reader's Digest journals are $10 and we do only have one of those left. But I'm gonna show you a couple more of the journals that Scrap Cat does create. They're so, so cute. So come on over to our little exciting area over here. We're gonna talk about a couple of the journal designs that we have over here. Now we do have a couple of styles of the Golden Book journals. So the Golden Book journals are so cute and she uses vintagey golden books and puts these journals together. We do have a couple of designs of, of the golden book kind. These also have the little nostalgic pieces in them. She's left the pages which I absolutely love and then she adds these super cute little embellishments and notions to them with these little note cards again that kind of pull out for you to send to your bestie, send a little message. All of the pages are still in there so the book itself stays intact so you can journal or blog and read the story as well. They are so cute. And these golden book versions do go for $25 each. And then we also have Blu-ray disc cover journals. So we have a few different designs of this kind as well. So these would be like, you know, journaling or handwritten blogs. For the movie lover, which would be my husband, he is absolutely all about movies. I'll have to take you guys sometime on a tour of his man space. It's very cool. So we have the Blu-ray disc cover journals, and these are so cool. The inside, she has those little pockets with the little note cards in there again for you to send little messages. She has the lined pages. And then adds all these little extras inside, all these super cute little pockets and pages, things for you to write little messages on or hang around your house just to inspire your creative side and get your blog or your journal going. Now our Blu-ray disc cover journals do go for $5 each. They are so cool. You guys have to come in and check those out. So I hope you're taking notes, you're writing snail mail, you're going to send some snail mail to read to a C, you're going to start a blog or a journal or a handwritten blog. We're going, to, we're going to change it up a little bit. Now you're writing in your journal, you're writing in your blog, you want to feel creative and you want to feel cute and pretty just because maybe the world has shut down and you're not feeling comfortable going out and going places, you can still look cute while you do stuff on your own. So we're going to come over here, take a peek at Retwisty's wardrobe. So if you keep an eye on Retwisty's post each week, Tanya does take a cute little snapshot of our lovely lady here, and her outfit does change um, weekly. So you guys have to get on there and kind of check out what we changed her into. Did we ever settle on a name for her? We didn't. They need to tell us. What should we name yeah. her? 
Give us some ideas. Mm -hmm. What should we name our beauty? So our wardrobe, so we have a retwisty wardrobe and we also have um, another artisan who has joined with us with her wardrobe and her name is Honey Creek. So we do have outfits from both artisans. We want you guys to come on in and check these out. Super, super cute little sweaters that we have. I just noticed that this one would be really cute with this wool skirt. Oh my gosh. Come on in, you guys. You have to get cute. I love this little sweater right here with the little sparkles in it. Little bit of glitter. So cute. You guys have to come in and get dressed up. We have dresses and skirts. We have some wool pants. I love wool. Especially right now when the weather is starting to get nasty again. It had warmed up a little, but... They, they suggested mannequin. Oh, mannequin. Ooh. <laughs> fancy. That sounds very French. Mannequin. I like it. We'll have to figure out a fancy way to spell that. I like mannequin. Very cute. So check out what mannequin it's like will be next week. It Harlequin. is like Harlequin. <laughs> Jim Holtz. <Holden>. Yeah. <laughs> so our wardrobe does have a very wide range. Everybody can find something for them. We range from $5 to $200. So come in and check these out. Remember, Valentine's Day is coming, so you're, while you're writing your Valentine's Day blog, look at this cute little number. Love it, love it, love it. Put that little cutesy on while you're writing your little Valentine's cards and sending them out to all your best friends. Now we talked about our journals, writing your blogs, writing in your journals, writing your little cutie cards to send out to people. When you're on your way to your happy space, you're gonna have some John Joseph coffee and write in your journal, in your happy space, you wanna have a purse to put your cute little journal in. Now I have to pull this one out because it is absolutely one of my most favorites. I'm kind of happy it's still here because I wanna take it home for myself, but I'm also kind of bummed that it's still here because it's so cute. So, while I work some magic here and get it off this hook because I, I can see to read with my glasses but to see anything else is a bit of a challenge. This is cute. It has a sparkly tassel on it. It's cute little pink velvety. It's just the right size for you to put your blogging journal into and head into your happy space and create something. So, so cute. We're just gonna carry that one around with us as we shop tonight. So our journal purses do also come in a price range. They range from about $8 to $28. So come on in and check those out. You gotta get one to match your ensemble that you choose. So, you got your ensemble, you got your journaling purse. We're gonna check out what you can do with your hair to keep it out of the way so that you can focus on your beautiful handwriting. So we have a few different headbands to choose from. One of our artisans, our little curator's cutie, she does make these handmade braided headbands with these super cute little vintage buttons on them. This one is amazing. Check out this button. So cute. You guys have to come in and check those out. They're so adorable. These are $5 each. We also have another little more sophisticated style of headband. These we call hair ties because they are made out of ties, Bentique ties. Now Textiles has created these. They do have elastic in them, so they're super easy to put on. They are so cool. They're made out of Bentique men's ties. We have a few different um, color patterns to choose from in there. They're so cute. And then she's also added these little add-ons these little embellishments that actually will clip on you can clip it onto your hair tie to add a little flare or you can just clip it right in your hair to add some extra specialness to your hairstyle now our hair ties go for eight dollars a piece so be sure to come on in and check those out now while you're writing in your blog and you're doodling away you want to be able to look down at your finger Maybe you want to have something on there to give you a bright idea, something to create. We have these super cute light bulb rings by Catherine's Gardens. What is that? It is literally a teeny tiny light bulb on a ring. 
Who doesn't need one of those? Because then when you're playing around with your journal, you spark up a good idea because you look down at your super cute little light bulb ring. So cute. Now our little light bulb rings, we only have two of those left and they do go for $8 a piece. Now, maybe you're all full of great ideas and you don't need any help thinking of anything, but you still want your fingers to look stinking cute while you're writing and doodling. We have button rings for you. So many adorable button rings to choose from. Now these rings are made from Vintiki buttons. Check this out. This ring is so cute. Look at that. That is just adorable. So you're writing along, you're doodling on your page, you look down, oh my gosh, look how cute my hand is. That is just beautiful. Come on in and check out our little button rings. Now these are created by our curator, um, our curator's cuties, her little button rings, and they do go for $8 each. We have a very wide range of buttons, the super large, little buttons, bright colors, kind of more of those white, like opal essence -y. So if you want to be a little more, um, Classy, you could think about getting something like that too. So, we talked about things that you can do to kind of bring, you know, that creativity to you. Now, another thing that actually sparks creativity, and it's really good for a person to do just to feel good, bring something to your community, donating. So, decluttering your home brings creativity to you. So we want you to think about donating. It activates the reward center of the brain. It enhances your community's well-being and reduces your stress, right? What is not to love about that idea? So Retwisty is always very excited to receive donations from people, any kind of donations, we love it. You have seen our post, Tanya has put out there on our Retwisty site posted. We love to accept gift bags, ribbons, like the um, unused uh, uh, gift cards. If you guys have come in, the thank you cards, we use those as our little receipt cards. We love accepting things like that. We have also had donated to us larger pieces that we have taken and shown Retwisty Love to and created something new. And we're gonna take a peek at some of those little items next. So our first one that we're gonna talk about is this adorable star bench. Now this bench came to us, it was just one color our R&D design studio did take it back a little bit, kind of clean it up some so that all of our wood pieces match. It does open, I won't open it all the way because I wasn't smart enough to empty the top off. But it does have a little storage compartment underneath. We have added that amazing blue tone that we add to so many pieces because it is so gorgeous. We've added that to our bench and the three little Americana stars. It's so cute. This little bench, we only have one, guys. It is a one of a kind. We only have one, and it does go for $80. Now, we're going to head over kind of in our little entryway here, and we're going to talk about... No, I lied. Let's stay here for a minute. I lied. <laughs> Let's stay here because I like this one. Now, we have these little paddles, these little cutting board paddles that were donated to us. We have a number of different variations and sizes. Our R&D Design Studio and our gallery artist has created these super cute little word boards for you to hang around your home. We've added that farmhouse white. I love the saying on this one and it goes with what we're talking about this evening. Life is good. Life is good. Hang that there in your happy space so you can remind yourself that life is good. We do have a variation of these cute little paddles that have been donated. They do range from $15 to $20 each. Now let's head to the entryway. So I didn't exactly lie per se. It was more a change in my thought process. <laughs> so the first guy we're going to take a peek at over here will be our hall tree. Now this hall tree was actually a number of pieces that were donated to us that our R&D design studio has created into a hall tree. The back piece is a vintage door that they've actually added home to the top and they've added these super cute little farmhouse hooks too. This bottom portion, the seat and the armrest, were actually a side table. So the side table is actually the seat and then the back legs from the side table were created into the armrests of the seat. 
so cute. We do only have one of these guys. He is so cool and he's that amazing farmhouse white that has been kind of brushed back, kind of that milk white tone. We do only have one of those and he does go for 175. He's gorgeous. If you want to know dimensions of these, any of these things, just let us know and we'll send those to you. Now for our next little donation, we're going to take a peek back in the gallery. Now, our gallery is full of amazing fine art. We also have some artisans back here. We have Fox Ridge Candles and we have Badger Valley Soaps. We're going to talk about this little cutie that sits right under Badger Valley. This little spindle leg table is so adorable and vintage. You guys have to come and check this little guy out. He's so pretty. He has that kind of that darker wood tone. And then again, we've added that... Um, whitewashed farmhouse top to it, that color on top. He's so cute. We do only have one of these, and he does go for $45. He is so cute. Come in and check him out. We can send you dim uh, dimensions on that one too. I just love this little table. Every time I come in here, he just makes me smile. He's so cute. So we're going to come on back out into our little um, boutique area. And check out a donation we have out there. This little cutie patootie. She is a beautiful blush rose color. Now this little cutie came to us and she was already adorable. We got her and we're thinking, I mean, how can we make her cuter? She just looks super cute. So she really just needed a little bit of, you know, little bit of fluff done to her so that her drawers would glide nicely. Um, we buffed her up, polished her up, kept her this super cute little blushy pink rose color. And she does go for $60. She is so cute. I love the way that the handles are done so that they are looking like the super vintagey handles. Her drawers glide so nice. You guys have to come in and check her out. She's so cute. Also, our rose chair was not part of our show tonight but I have to talk about it now because she matches the rose dresser. We have this beautiful rose chair. So gorgeous. That's by our gal uh, gallery artist. So, so pretty and perfect for Valentine's Day and to think about spring because it's coming someday, guys. It is. It's going to happen. I want to thank all of you for joining us this evening. I hope that we were able to kind of spark some creativity with you, spark some ideas, some things that you would like to do. Remember to come on in and check some things out. I hope that you're enjoying our little change that we've done to our Thursday night shops. I really want to be able to um, kind of use all of the professions. <laughs> Sounds so fancy. All of those little professions, all those things that I want to be able to share with all of you and bring happiness and health and wellness to all of you. We care so much about all of you. Come on in and see us. We hope to see you guys all soon. Have a great evening.